mostly keep on what they're doing. The oncology units I've been on, the staff are almost universally very upbeat, very cheerful, very free with the tea, very free with the biscuits. Um, they are quiet and sympathetic when they judge that somebody needs it and they are very good at pulling the curtains and giving people privacy. It's a difficult job, I mean, for them. It's got to be emotionally draining. The thing is, is that most cancer patients are kind of, you know, feeling that death is looming, that they are going to die. As I have repeatedly said, for most people diagnosed with cancer, they will survive. Yes, people die, obviously, um, but a lot of them don't. And the most important thing uh, that patients can do is try and keep fit and healthy as far as they can and try and keep their weight up because as long as they're fit and healthy and their weight is up, it means that it is safer to go on treating them. So one of the things that you can help do if you're there is to help keep people in the mindset where they can eat. Of course, you're scared you're going to die. That's a thing. And you've got to be aware of the fact that a lot of people will be frightened that they're going to die. Some of them might be, you know, and a lot of them are older people as well. So you're starting off with a group who may well have very small appetites to start with. So if you can keep them in that kind of mindset where they, they're going to carry on nibbling, eating, tempting them, they're going to feel able to carry on with the treatment, you will be doing them a, a favour. You know, but like I said... I have yet to meet a nurse on an oncology department who wasn't absolutely fantastic. They are all brilliant. So, 